What's up, guys? It's Nick. So it's December 27th, a couple days after Christmas. Just kind of organizing my stuff, getting ready for Monday. So I'm not looking forward to that much, but that's another story for another time. Anyway, so my wife for Christmas, the one of the big things she kind of got me, and by the way, we don't do that many Christmas gifts anymore, I guess. When you get to be my age, it's all about the kids, even though we don't have kids yet. Again, that's another story. But um, my wife got me a... I have a Apple Watch, a 42 millimeter one. I've done a, a video on that before when I first got it. But she got me this link bracelet, the stainless steel butterfly closure band from Apple, um, which I kind of wanted. I thought it was cool. I don't have a stainless band and uh, wanted one. So she got it for me and I was all kind of excited until she told me it was 450 bucks. And I was like, oh my gosh, I know there are a lot of bands on Amazon. I don't know the quality of these bands, but I figured I would try a competitor um, before I decided to keep this because I thought 450 bucks was a lot, um, especially with uh, you know an Apple Watch 2 coming up this year or 2016, I should say. And I would hope that Apple allows these bands to work um, with an Apple Watch 2. Anyway, my, my story being, I just thought 450 bucks was a lot of money. Um, for one. So I got this one from Amazon and this is a MOKO, M-O-K-O. It's also stainless steel. Um, it's, a, it's a band for the 42 millimeter Apple Watch. Silver against stainless steel. I would think they look pretty much identical here. And this thing was 89 bucks with free shipping, Amazon Prime, that whole nine yards. So I'm going to open them up and compare them. And obviously I'm not going to be able to tell if one scratches more than the other in the future because I'm going to decide and return the one that I don't think is uh, needed. So let's let's go straight to the Apple one first here. Let's see. And I'm curious what you guys got for Christmas or Hanukkah or the holidays. So post in the, uh, in the uh, comment section. Let me know what you guys got, what your big present was. I'm sure everyone's seen kind of these... Apple Watch bands being opened. This isn't really a, supposed to be just an unboxing video. Obviously the presentation on this is going to be 10 times better than the MoCo. There's the Apple logo. Nice feel to it. You have that suede velvet thing with the Apple Watch logo. And you have the band. The band looks beautiful. I like it. It's supposed to be really amazing to... And amazingly easy to get rid of these um, links if it's too large. You, I think you just push these these little uh, buttons in and you can remove the links pretty simply. I have not tried it yet, but I will. So that's that one. I'll leave it right here. No real reason to remove the tape from the bottom yet, but maybe I will in a little bit. So let's see. That's the one from Apple. Let's see if we can organize ourselves a little bit here. Maybe? All right, kind of. Now let's open the one from MoCo. And by the way, I'll post um, links for these. Obviously, you know where to get the Apple one, but I'll post the links from MoCo, this MoCo one. Actually, I'll even pull it up right here on the screen. Let's see, here it is. So you can see it right there. They have all these different colors and options and tons of things. Um, you can see the price, 89 bucks. So talking, you know, if it was, if the Apple Watch was a couple hundred bucks and this MoCo was 90 bucks, then I'd be like, all right, maybe it's worth an extra hundred bucks to get the official Apple one. But talking 450 versus 89, to me, I love Apple. I love everything Apple. Steve is right here and you might not want me to hear this, but if um, we're talking 450 versus 89, unless there's a huge difference in the quality, uh, it's gonna be hard for me to keep that Apple one. So here's the one from MoCo. Initially, it looks identical. So my right hand here is the MoCo, and the left hand here is the Apple. Let me see, is there something on this? Let's quite, I'm uh, gently take this off. One second, guys. In case I want to keep this, let's see. And there is something, okay. So I might put it back all together. So, all right, left hand is Apple, right hand is MoCo. I mean, they are virtually identical. Literally, even from the, the clasp up here, 
I cannot tell a difference at all. Actually, if you look, the Mocha one's a, looks like a little bit longer, one link longer. So you get an extra link, I'm assuming, because the links look even the exact same size, if you can see, let's see. And we're talking identical, guys. Um, there's a clasp on the inside, identical. Now I did read somewhere that the main difference between the two, it's a little bit of a convenience factor, but you're only gonna have to do it once, is for the Apple, they have this trademark, so not everyone can do this, but to remove the bands, you push these buttons or you do something like that, that easily, yeah, you know, just starting to come off. That'll easily take it off. Whereas this Moco one, and I guess some of the other third party ones, they do not have the buttons. Uh, or the release mechanisms they have little holes in the side here and you have to get this little key which looks like identical to the thing you get with cell phones um, anyway I won't open it up maybe I will comes with a couple extra pins I guess these are pins I'm not exactly sure what these are needed for but in case you lose it and there's this tool but I'm assuming it's just gonna pop in here. And it does go in there. I don't wanna really do it right now because I don't know. I haven't even sized these yet or decided which ones I wanna do. And here comes a little instruction booklet on the Moco one. And and the Moco one, guys, is not a bad presentation. I mean, it's a, was that the Apple one? That was the Apple one. This comes this little foam, you know, cut out. So it's not horrible. Um, anyway, back to it. So, where was it? Little thing on how to assemble. Yeah, you essentially insert the spring bar. That's the other thing about turning 40. You start to need to wear reading glasses. Absolutely sucks. Um, insert the spring bar into the male end of the watch band and position the male end of the link, the bottom of the female link. So, I, I don't know. But it can't be that hard. But you have to do something to, to take these things off. Would I already lose one? Anyway, take these things off, you're gonna have to use this. Um, but I don't think that's that big of a deal because you're gonna size it once and pretty much not size it again. So I have no idea, I mean, they're, they're the exact same color, exact same finish, there's no difference at all in them. Like I said, the convenience of the Apple one is, is good for removing bands but or links, but once you do that, I think it's done. So to me, my initial reaction, and again, I love Apple, but for the 450 versus 89 bucks, I am gonna go with the Apple, I mean the Moco one, uh, and save the money and return this Apple one. Now, again, I have no idea if in two weeks this Moco one is gonna, you know, scratch 50 times uh, more, you know, more easy than than the, the Apple one would have. Um, you can see how it's easy to kind of remove that. This is the Moco again. So I have no idea if it's gonna scratch more or less. There's the apple. Let me just try that again, feel if there's a difference. And it even says there, apple, right there in the middle. That was nice and fluid. Let's just see this moco if it was the exact same thing. And pretty identical. Again, and let's say this cheap knockoff is cheap and it breaks in a year or so. I don't even know how long I'm gonna have this thing. Four, but if it breaks into you, you buy another one, you're still only at 200 bucks versus 450 or less than 200 bucks. So I don't know, 450 is a lot of money and I'm gonna go with this MoCo to start. So that's it guys, I'm playing around with it. I will let you know if anything changes with these, but um, that's my review or my comparison of these two. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't mind, subscribe to the channel. Trying to get some more subscribers. I'm going to try and do some more videos here soon. So anyway, more exciting stuff's coming up. Hope, hope you guys had a great holiday, and uh, we'll talk to you, everyone soon. See right, you guys. So I finished putting the links on this, or taking some links off. It wasn't too bad. Um, sorry if the quality has changed on the video or audio. I just am using my iPhone now instead of the camera. I uh, just wanted to kind of show you a finished product. Slides right in, just like... Uh, the Apple Watch does. The one the original ones from Apple do, I should say. Click right in there. And there you have it. The finished product. I think it looks good. 
The wife came home and I showed her, and of course she thought the Apple one looked a little different. I don't think so. She said she could tell the difference. I couldn't, but um, I think it looks great. To throw it on real quick. I think it looks good. So I definitely recommend it. I'm sure both of them are great. I'm sure the Apple one is absolutely amazing. Um, but this MoCo one for 89 bucks is a good option. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.